Hello and welcome to Banky Gaming. In today's The Sims 4 tutorial, I'm going to learn you how to make your own face paint. You can also use this tutorial for making other kinds of makeup. The programs we're going to use are the game The Sims 4, a program to open and save DDS files like Photoshop or GIMP. I'm going to use Photoshop. We need The Sims 4 Studio and we need some Sim Body Texture templates. For more information about those programs and some download links, look down below in the description. Now let's start in The Sims 4 Studio. First, fill in your creator name, then go to the Create a Sim section, choose Create Standalone and then click the Create a Sim button. In the next window, choose for Gender, All, Age, All and for Part Type, choose Face Paint. Then choose one of the face paints right here. I'm going for the clown and then click next to make it into its own package file. In the next window give your package file a name and then click save to save it to your project folder. I made a project folder called tutorial face paint. In the next window go to the texture section and then click export to export the original texture. Then give it a name. Be sure to save as DDS and click save. After you've exported the texture, let's go to Photoshop. Then in Photoshop open your just exported texture file and the male body template. Then click this male body template and use Ctrl A to select everything, Ctrl C to copy and then click the original face paint and press Ctrl V to paste the body template over the texture. Then close the mail template and enlarge the original texture file. Now click layer 1 and add a new layer on top of that by clicking on the new layer icon next to the bin in the lower right corner. Now let's start creating our own face paint. First zoom a bit in on the face. To do this press and hold alt and use your scroll wheel up to zoom in. Then click on the image and press and hold spacebar to center the face. Then click layer 2 again. Now let's make all of the face white and to do so press B for brush tool. Then select white as your foreground color. And then if you want to change your brush tool size you can either click right mouse button and use the slider right here. Or click the down arrow right here and then the slider right here. If you get the right size brush tool then start painting the whole face white so it will end with something like this. Now as you can't see anymore where the eyes, nose and mouth are, click layer 2 and then change the opacity to 50%. Then click layer 2 again and click the new layer icon. On layer 3 we're going to color the nose point, so make the color red and then make this a little bit smaller and then do something like this. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit and change the color of the mouth too, let's make it a bit smaller, just making a weird shape around it. It's clown, so it doesn't matter. Oh! And after you've done that, make a new layer, then choose for color dark blue and color the eyes a bit. So, like this, and the other one too. So, then zoom out a bit, and then use Ctrl and Shift and click on the images of all paint uh, face paint layers then hide the body template and the background and click the channel step then click the alpha channel and drag it into the bin after that click on new layer and a new alpha channel will appear now be sure that your foreground color is gray I use the gray color with code D7D4D4, then press OK 
and then use Alt plus the Delete key to fill the selection with the gray color. We're using gray in this alpha channel because we want the face paint to be a little bit transparent. If you make it all white, the lines of the eyes and nose and mouth won't be visible anymore. So after you've done this, hit Ctrl D to deselect, then click the RGB channel again and click layers. Then first go to layer 2 and make the opacity 100 again. Then click right mouse button and choose flatten image. Discard hidden layers. OK. Now go to file and save as. Then name your DDS file. Be sure to save it as a DDS file and then click save. In the next window choose DXT5 and generate MIP maps and then click save again. After you've saved it go back into the Sims 4 Studio. Back in the Sims 4 Studio click on import then select your new face paint and click on open. And as you can see it will appear on the face in the model viewer. Now to select the swatch thumbnail colors you can either use the arrow key and choose the colors you want or right mouse button on the box then you get an eyedropper tool that you can use in the model viewer so like this like this and like this now the game will make a catalog thumbnail by itself if you open the face paint in game so if you want to make a custom catalog thumbnail, for example by using the thumbnail the game will make and add your name to that, you first have to hit save, move the package file to your mods folder and open your face paint in game. You have to select the face paint for each gender and if you have multiple swatches you have to select all of those too. After you have done that you can reopen your face paint in the Sims 4 Studio. It will then look something like this. Now you can export the catalog thumbnail, add your name and then import that custom thumbnail back. Now you can also make your face paint usable for children. To do this, first click the categories tab right here. Then check child right here and child right here. If you got multiple face paints, so multiple swatches, then don't forget to click the apply to all swatches button right here and right here. Our face paint is now ready to use in our game. So let's save it, click OK, move it into our mods folder and then let's test it out in game. Now as you can see we succeeded in making look men, women and children look really stupid in game. Of course you can all make it look much better if you take more time creating your face paint. If you like this tutorial and you want to support me and the modeling community, please give it a like and share it so more people will be able to find it. If you still have questions, please ask them in the comments below. More tutorials will come, so if you don't want to miss them, please subscribe. Have fun making your own face paint and see you next time here on Baki Gaming.